Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we are going to have a look at CreateML, the new way to create custom machine learning models that Apple introduced at WWDC 18. And this is extraordinary because it simplifies the way you can create machine learning models based on your own data. I have already created a video on different aspects of WWDC 18. It is located in the top right corner right now, so check this out if you're interested in what I have to say about that. But now we're going to focus on creating our own custom machine learning model based on some fruit images. We're going to create an image classifier that is going to be able to distinguish between strawberries, bananas, and apples. And therefore I have just downloaded some stock images and put them in a specific folder structure. So I have created a training data folder and a testing data folder. And I have chosen a ratio of 80-20, so 80% training data and about 20% testing data. This is quite common and I've just put all my images for apples into an apple folder, all my images for bananas into a banana folder, and the same thing for strawberries, both in training data and in testing data. And these are actually the labels that we're going to use for our image classifier. And what previously needed really real expertise from someone with a background in data science now can be done in just seconds in a playground. So let's see how this works. So once you have opened up your beta version at the moment, the beta version of Xcode 10, you can just click File, New, Playground, and then we're going to choose a Mac OS playground and we can start with a blank playground, just calling this maybe um, Image Classifier Creator and hit Create. And with that, we have a simple playground right here. And I'm going to resize that a little bit, directly open up the assistant editor and resize all of that a little bit. So let's just put the training and testing folder somewhere that I can see them. And then we can just start building our very simple playground that you can reuse for actually any image classifier that you would like to create. All we have to do is import create ML UI. That is the first step. Second step is create a ML image classifier builder object. I'm just calling it builder and initialize it with ML image classifier builder. And then what we do is use this builder object to call show inline view. Then we can press the run button and hopefully we get the image classifier ability right here in our assistant editor. And now the first thing that we do is inserting the training data, just drag and drop the folder into this section here in our assistant editor. And in a matter of seconds, we have actually trained our data model. And now we can test our data model with our training data. And here we go. And we have in this case an evaluation of 100% accuracy in our model. So as you can see, this was predicted as a banana, this was predicted as a banana, and it was a banana. And it truly worked for our image classifier. The more images you choose, the better this model gets. So feel free to experiment with that. The evaluation could be different depending on your images and the amount of the images. But if you're satisfied with the evaluation result, then you can go ahead, click on this little down arrow next to your image classifier, choose a location where you'd like to save your image classifier. So I'm going to just choose my desktop. I could give it a author, description, license, version, and so on. I can just hit save. It was saved 
as a image classifier and here it is we have a ml model file now we could now import that into an xcode project work with it together with the vision framework or we could even add some ar capabilities so this was just a quick look at how you can create an image classifier in a matter of seconds with create ml I hope you found this quick introduction useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.